Welcome to the Greenspring Art Wall. This art wall is located in the lobby of our Hunter's Crossing Community Building. It provides an artistic background to a very busy corridor on our campus. It also provides an opportunity for Greenspring artists to display their works to all the residents. It is updated every other month by a staff of volunteers who select the artist and do all of the tasks necessary to create an interesting display. The wall is laid out as a virtual wall on a computer before actually hanging up the paintings. The dimensions of each painting are used to create a virtual object on the computer. These objects are then moved about on the virtual wall by the wall curator. The objects are moved about until the curator believes they will provide a very nice display. One of the critical elements of this process is the accuracy of the dimensions of the actual paintings. The specific purpose of this document is to define the information requirements for each painting the artist plans to display. Here is the virtual art wall layout used for February and March of 2020. Here is the virtual art wall layout used for April and May of 2020. This is a view of the virtual art wall with no painting objects on it. It is 11 feet wide and 5 feet tall. There are four panels each 33 inches wide. Each panel has three vertical wires which are used to hang the paintings. These wires can be moved to the right or left within the panel to match the spacing requirements of the virtual layout. Adjustable hooks on the wires can be moved up and down as required. There are as many hooks on each wire as needed to hold the paintings. Once the paintings are created as virtual objects and placed on the virtual wall, the wall curator begins the process of organizing them into one large art object by moving them around on the computer monitor. The wall of October-November 2019 was particularly challenging. In this first version of the layout, one can see that the artist provided more paintings than would fit on the wall. Two large paintings were eliminated. In the second version, a large painting was moved to the lower center portion of the wall. The artist particularly wanted this painting displayed. The smaller paintings were staged around the large one. In the third version, a dummy painting was inserted into the wall, which was later replaced by one from the artist. Version number four includes some juggling the locations of the smaller paintings. In version 5 we have moved back to four columns of two paintings each. And after some minor tweaking to arrive at version 6, the desired layout was finally completed. Several days later, all of this planning was converted into the actual wall. The artist brought the paintings to the wall, and a crew of volunteers hung them guided by the layout of version 6. They were on display for two months. Measuring the painting. This is a front view. There is the painting itself. It may be surrounded by one or more mats. Then it is surrounded by the frame. The important dimensions we need are the width and height of the outside of the painting. The width is shown in red. And the height is in green. This is a rear view of the painting showing the hanging wire. All paintings on the wall must have hanging wires. The dimension we need is the distance from the outside top edge of the frame down to the wire. This will provide the staff with a starting point for the hook to hang up the painting. Final adjustments will be made when the painting is hung. The staff preparing the wall needs detailed information about each painting. The artist should provide this information to the art wall curator. It will be used for two main purposes. One to create the virtual objects used to lay out the wall. 2. To create a descriptive tag attached to each painting on the wall. The information needed for each painting is 1. A digital photograph of the painting. 2. The name of the artist. 3. The name of the painting. 4. The medium used in the painting. 5. The width of the object in inches. 6. The height of the object in inches. 7. The distance from the back wire to the top edge of the painting in inches. 
The curator will provide this information to the virtual wall technician.